Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ricardo, the Superman of Real Estate, and today I have a very good friend of mine, Tyson De La Cruz, um, and I actually wanted uh, just to ask him a little bit, who is Tyson De La Cruz, what does he do, um, and we're going to get a little bit more debt into that. So let's get right to it. All right, Tyson. What's up, man? Brother, thank you very much. Yeah, Appreciate sure. your time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, how, long, how long have we known each other? Oh my gosh, how long have we known each other? Um, we've known each other, when did we meet? Like 2016 or 17? I remember actually going into your office. Um, and With I, National Real Estate? Yeah, National Real Estate. And I okay. went, I walked in, <clears throat> and you were this super bright kid. And I walked in, and I wanted to introduce myself because it seemed like not a lot of people at that brokerage when you first came uh, were very yeah, receptive yeah. to you. So yeah. yeah, no, I appreciate that, man. Um, I remember when I saw Tyson, I was like, man, this guy is super quiet. But then as soon as he started to, to throw a bunch of uh, real estate knowledge, I was just blown away. Um, I mean, we've done a couple of deals together. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we have yeah. we actually have one right now that we're working on. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to introduce you, Tyson, to, to the real estate community or to anyone, you know, out there on, on YouTube and social media. So Tyson, who, who's Tyson De La Cruz? Can you share a little bit with us? <laughs> Philosophically or, or like actually? Oh, well, just a little bit. Both. Yeah. Just um, who's Tyson? Man, um, I, honestly, like philosophically speaking, like I'm literally just a person navigating through this life experience, like through the sources of universe, God, whatever that is, you know, whatever that resonates with whoever. Um, okay. But in, in regards of this space right now, um, I am a... Uh, real estate entrepreneur, online entrepreneur, nice. amateur venture capitalist. Um, I oh. wouldn't say I'm a novice venture capitalist. Um, I do enjoy, you know, funding different ventures that other people have um, because I've been blessed with the opportunity to dive into to real estate. So nice. uh, that's kind of like the capsule of, of, of me. Tyson. Where, yeah, where are you from? I'm, I'm, I'm born and raised here, here really? in Las Vegas. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm sure. a Las Vegas native. Um, my 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 mom and my dad actually met in Hawaii, so I'm oh, half shoot. Filipino and half German. I was gonna ask yeah. you, you have a Hispanic last name? Yeah. My, well, the, 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 yeah, the Spaniards actually invaded the Philippines back in the day, so that's how it's actually a slave name. So. Oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, right. um, so I've been uh, I was a traditional REO agent for a long period of time. Really. During the REO times. Back um, in uh, 2000. What? 2010, <clears throat> 11, okay. 12. Um, and then I started flipping, and I met my first money partner in 2014. Huh. Been my first money partner in 2014, um, and then that's when I started understanding creative deals, like deals like Subject Two, uh, OWCs, like Owner Carries. Owner Carries. Yep. Um, you did sell me that one deal. Yeah. The fourplex, right? I did sell you that fourplex. Yeah. Actually, that was that. That was probably one of the deals that I regret selling. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a fourplex. It was a great deal. I think I sold it to you for what, like 30 grand, something yeah. like that. It's like 30 grand. How much did you make on that thing? I think it was 100. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I absolutely, and it was <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice deal too. I just at that time in my career when I sold you that fourplex, I didn't have the capacity and know how to manage tenants. Oh yeah, like They're manage, uh, you know, the the washer and dryers that were getting stolen all the time, and you actually had the parcel right across the street. Yeah. So I thought it was like a perfect blend. Um, I thought it was a great opportunity for you. Um, you know, with, without me selling that, it wouldn't propelled me a little bit further in my career. Nice. So there are always deals that I, that I look back at now, especially now I'm like, Oh man, I should have held on to that like six more months, but you live, you learn and you move on. You just grow. Yeah. You move on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I was doing REOs, uh, started flipping and then, uh, I ran out of money oh, uh, shoot. because I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't know about hard money. I didn't know about, um, you know, private money. Huh. And and that's when I, because I was using my own money to do these creative deals. And uh, cash poor. Yeah, and uh, that's when I discovered private money and wholesaling. Oh shoot! And that's when I started like diving into a little bit yeah, more. wholesaling more to to fund the creative deals. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Tyson. Um, so on my channel, I've done a little bit more about traditional real estate, but today I wanted Tyson to give you the other side of the real estate game. Uh, Tyson, can you talk a little bit more about those creative deals? 
uh, maybe the wholesaling. What is wholesaling for those new uh, real estate people out there? Can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Uh, wholesaling is simply just uh, obtaining a contractual obligation with the seller um, so you have the rights and the power to uh, sell the contractual obligation to another person. You're not actually selling the asset, but you're controlling what's called like the, the paper. contract. Yeah, the contract. <clears throat> so you get a seller in contract, and you say, I'm going to buy your property for $100,000. Mm -hmm. Then you agree to that, and then you actually wholesale, just like uh, companies do with Walmart and, Ho and Costco. You say, I'm going to buy it for 100 and then you sell it to somebody for 110 Oh, shoot. And, and then you make the difference in between that spread, and the end buyer actually gets the property, and also um, you get paid. So wow. there's no, um, the risk involved versus flipping is significantly lower. Um, and as long as you have your paperwork dialed in, you're, you're good to go. Nice. Uh, and a lot of people have asked, like, do you need a license to wholesale real estate? No, you don't need a license to hmm. wholesale real estate. Um, I, I, me personally, like I would say anybody who's looking to get into the real estate space, uh, really, really focus on your education because your education is going to be at the end of the day, if you're looking at doing this as a profession, whether you're a wholesaler, a real estate agent, or flipper, super important to always Dive continue in. the education, education. Okay. Because if you're looking at it as a, as a business, an actual business, you need to be well educated. Huh. You know? Yeah. That's good. I good, know that good. was a long answer. But. That was a good one. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. No, that's good. Um, okay, so that's wholesaling. You, you get a contract, you turn around, you sell it to someone else, you make the difference in this scenario, 10 grand. Yeah. Um, so do you make more money wholesaling or flipping? Good question. Is it? Good question. For, for you or, or your, man, your scenarios. Man, I've... I've wholesaled properties that I've gotten $120,000 assignment fees. $120,000. Yeah. And I've, I've flipped properties where I've earned, you know, $200,000, $160,000. You know, so, but for me, it's just, um, wow. when, it, when it comes to wholesaling, wholesaling is a little bit, uh, there's, there's less stress. Okay. Um, when it comes to the transactional portion of it. But... Um, it's, it's, it's a marketing game. Like it really, really is just a marketing game. You're only as good as your previous deal, huh. you know, and if you're not investing that money appropriately, you're still in this wheel, this hamster wheel of just grinding all the time. Oh, you the know? wholesaling wheel. Right. Right. Cause then at the end of the day, it just becomes a job, right? Same thing with flipping real estate. You know, okay. you can flip hundreds and hundreds of homes and not create any passive income for you or not create any revenue streams or hold houses, that can also become a hamster wheel. Huh. To answer your question, it's kind of tough, but I can tell you the quicker cash is in wholesaling. Okay. And uh, the ego-like based uh, feeling that you get, like the dopamine hit, is flipping. Is flipping, right? Because right. you're yeah, like, oh, yeah, I yeah. did this house. Like, look at, I did the black wall. I did the stainless steel appliances. You know, it's cool for the ego. Um, but it's not necessarily, there's not one better than the other. It just depends on the person. Okay. And then to answer your question about the money, um, it's it's about the same. They're about the same. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh, shoot. For sure. Wow. Thanks, Tyson. Yeah. Um, let's see. Another question. I, we, we talked about it a little bit earlier. You you feel maybe, or let, let's let's go back. If someone wants to start wholesaling, you say that's probably the easiest way to go to go into real estate. What should someone do? What, what, how how can someone get started wholesaling? Yeah, typically with with wholesaling, um, you don't necessarily have to have like a bunch of experience because remember it's just a marketing game. Okay. And if you don't have a lot of money, wholesaling is a good way to get started to build the capital to eventually flip. Um, if somebody's looking to get started wholesaling, the question was right. Yeah. Really, just pull a list from, you know, you can start as simple as like pulling a list from the title company, NOD, so that's notice of defaults, okay, or notice of trustee sales, HOA delinquencies, any liens, like Republic tax Service liens. liens, tax liens. You can pull that list from a title company um, and then use a skip tracing service to, to skip trace them and then 
call those people and ask them if they're open and ready and willing to sell their property. Um, that's nice. that's the easiest that's way. The easiest way. You know, <clears throat> just pulling that list, and you can use platforms like PropStream or Property Radar to really dial that stuff in deeper. Um, but if you're not proficient in those, man, you can hop on the title company. Actually, county websites have a lot of solid information too. Really? Yeah. Oh shoot! Yeah. For free? Yeah, for free. Okay. For free. Nice. Yeah. Um, where where are you at in your your real estate game? I guess are you um, delegating, or did you hire people to call? Um, did you do that at one point? Did you see that at work, or maybe not? Yeah. Um, you know, this is this is a cool question, man. Because uh, at one point I had seventeen callers. You know, oh, we man. were in multiple states, and oh, sure. and and it was great. Uh, but ultimately, it wasn't super fulfilling for me. Hmm. My thing is, is I, I like to connect with the sellers. Um, and I like to just be a little bit more free, man, you know, um, where I created this business and I recognized that I just became like an adult babysitter. And some people really like boss. that. Yeah. Big some people, boss. yeah, some people really like that. But that's not me, you know. So, so I, you want to be in yeah. the trenches. So I, I scaled that down. Um we're a small team now, bro. Um, five people. Nice. And there's there's more dexterity. Uh, we can move pretty quickly, and, and we focus on really really niche lists and, and building relationships with people. Nice. And and that cultivates money for for as a company. And then I'm able to focus on other things that I really enjoy. Like, you know, I I I actually house people getting off of opiates and heroin. Like really. In, in some in some houses. Oh sure. So you know that that's a that's very fulfilling to me. You know, help them get a second chance in life, and real estate provides me the money to to provide to them. Yeah, yeah. To help them, to yeah. help people. Yeah. It, it brings me to another another question. You you mentioned the word you weren't fulfilled mm -hmm. enough with real estate, um, or we talked about a little bit before. You felt you you didn't feel as much passion for it. Yeah. So what what passions? Tyson, mm, yeah. What what, mm. what are you passionate about? That's great, man. That's great. Um, I love I love creating, man. I love creating. No, I see the yeah. I love Uncle creating Tony. stuff. Yeah, I love, <laughs> I love creating stuff on YouTube. Like I love creating those type of things. Nice. Um, I love art, man. Like you, you know, you got one of my pieces. Oh yeah, here. It's super I love cool. I love that piece. Um, like I love doing that. Like I'm a creative dude. Like that that fuels me. Um, and honestly, man, like I, I like, I like spending time like with, with me and ask, asking those same questions, right? Like what really is going to make me tick nine months from now, 12 months from now, you know? And, and, and I, I really have a passion for helping people, um, especially when they feel that they don't have that opportunity to do that themselves. Um, so that's, that's one of my, one of my passions, man. Yeah. And that's, that's what kind of makes me makes me tick man and and really leaning into that man as a service you know because um you know you mentioned this before but uh you know a, a, a life a life filled with service and giving is a life worth having oh yeah you know so um real estate <clears throat> to me is the taxi bro just the vehicle it's the vehicle man it gives me the money it gives me the things that i need to do um, but there's a lot of things that I'm doing on the back end that that really bring fulfillment to me. You know, nice. uh, my my relationship with with my significant other. You know, nice. like that brings me happiness. You know, really focusing on that. Like, and I recognize like how much I wasn't focusing on that before. You were focused on the yeah external the, the things, external yeah, things, like yeah. money and you know, like now I'm like okay, uh, I want to focus on me. I want to focus on my connection and, and, and relationship. Nice. Yeah. It's funny, um, we actually did another video that we talked about, I guess you can say our eternal progression or our progression as, as a spiritual being. Yeah. Um, and I talked about the same, the same things that we're all focused on the money or, you know, the biggest house or, the, you know, the nicest car. But sometimes we forget to ask ourselves, why are we here? You know, like, what's the reason? Dude, we all, honestly, why bro, are we here? like, honestly, man, like, 
we all have <clears throat> medicine to share. Like we all have beautiful gifts that, you know, God universe has given us like to, to share with everybody else. So like, why are we here? And like, why, like, why are we still alive? And, and what can we share with the world? You know, and like super blessed and super grateful, man, because like real estate honestly changed my life. You know, it's given me the money, which ultimately created the freedoms. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Tyson, I, I appreciate your time. Yeah. Um, anything else that you would like to share uh, to our guest? Maybe something that we don't know about you? Or can you uh, do a, a Tony? I'm not going to do Uncle Tony, Tony from Fresh and Fresh. Or uh, <laughs> TV can, Boo? You can, add, you can add a B-roll of that. Okay, we'll do a B-roll. <laughs> All right. I wanted you to do Uncle Tony in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we'll do the next yeah, video. Just Uncle add the Tony. In there, dude. We'll do Uncle Tony on the next video or uh, or Timmy Vu. <laughs> no, I got I I just want to sh- say man like I'm I'm super inspired by you man like you're like when I first met you um and you had those fourplexes and you told me that you bought your first property with an FHA loan which is a a little cool hack FHA loan and you bought a fourplex with you your buy FHA a multi-unit, loan. Unit, yeah. Bought a multi-unit and you lived in one unit. I walked in your unit. It was absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yeah. You couldn't tell you were in, yeah. the, in the ghetto. <laughs> right. Beautiful. And you had those three other tenants paying your rent. Like, that's a that's a dope house hack, right? Right. And you are, honestly, man, like, super inspiring to me. Um, you're young. You're, you're driven. And you're passionate about your craft, man. And I just appreciate you having me here and, like, having these brief, brief conversations, man, because this, this also lights me up, too, man. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Tyson... Thank you, man. I, I really appreciate you. Um, you're, you're always giving. You're, you're always giving and, you know, not thinking what you're going to get in return. Mm. And I feel we, we need more of that in, you know, in, in this world, you know? Because yeah. we're all, oh, I want, the, you know, for me, but you're always a giving guy. So thank just want to say thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank Tyson, you, appreciate you. Thank you for coming uh, to our interview today. If you don't follow Tyson De La Cruz on YouTube, you want to share with them uh, your contact? Yeah, YouTube is at Tyson Dela Cruz, <coughs> and uh, Instagram is at Tyson Dela Cruz as well. You can go to TysonDelacruz.com, check out all the stuff. Um, everything's at Tyson Dela Cruz. So, all right, yeah. perfect. Yeah, nothing easier than that. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the Superman of Real Estate as well, and don't forget to subscribe to Tyson Dela Cruz video um, um, channel as well. Um, we will be having more interviews like these. If you have an idea uh, of a collaboration that we can do, go ahead and comment below or any other ideas about videos, you can go ahead and comment below and uh, we can share ideas with you guys. Uh, but guys, thank you for watching. This is Ricardo of the Superman of Real Estate and we'll see you next time.